This video is going to be all about the making of my ice cream shoes. <laughs> Um, I saw a lot of cool things online of these really neat expensive ice cream shoes and I thought I'd try making some of my own with hot glue and spackle. So we'll see how they turn out. First, I went to the thrift store and I got these high heels. I've been wanting to make these shoes for years and I finally found some heels that I thought would work. I grabbed my hot glue gun, my paint collection, which is just from the Dollar Tree. I use these to make my fake bake spackle cakes. Um, they work well enough for that, so I figured they would work for the shoes. I'm not a painter, so I don't really know. I snagged a couple of my fake cherries that I got off of Amazon. These are also for my fake bake cakes. And I could only find these two paint brushes. I think they might just be from the Dollar tree they're not super great but they're going to work you'll also need something to put your paint in a fast food container will work perfect you'll need some spackle you could probably just use the stuff from the dollar tree same for the icing bags and tips you can just get some of those from the dollar tree and you'll also need a ton of hot glue sticks you also want some mod podge i think i've never actually made these before so hopefully this doesn't ruin the paint hopefully it just seals it Oh, and if you don't want to ruin your Ikea table, get some parchment paper or something. Now, as I said before, I have never done this before. Um, so I just took my hot glue and I started making ice cream cone patterns. It doesn't look great, but it works. I finished off my ice cream cone and now I am doing all my little drizzly dripping ice cream. Now, if you're watching this video because you would like to make these shoes, I suggest you just go for it. It's not going to look great, but hopefully after we add the paint and everything, it'll start to look better. So I mixed some of my Dollar Tree paints together. I think I did like yellow, orange, and the really dark brown color. And I just kept going till I got this color. It's a little bit darker than what I was going for, but it doesn't look terrible. Then I took a darker brown and I added it in to add some depth and some shadowing where the cone would be baked a little darker. Next, I mixed up some pink paint and I started painting all of the little ice cream drips. I'm working on the second heel now and I have to say it's coming out a little bit better. Um, I'm waiting for this to dry. I tried doing a second coat, but it wasn't dry enough. It's gonna look cute, at least for pictures. <laughs> anyway, um, I think this one looks a lot better than the other one, just by a little bit, not by much, but it's looking a little better. So I was kind of debating whether or not I was actually going to Mod Podge these shoes or not, but I figured because it's just kind of like a washable Dollar Tree acrylic paint that it needed a little something extra to help seal everything in. I don't know if this is just because it's not dry yet, but you can definitely see that on camera. It's a lot lighter, and I don't know if that's just because of the white Mod Podge, and maybe it will end up drying brighter or it could have been some kind of chemical reaction and maybe it's just going to stay that color not really sure but if any sciencey artsy people out there uh, would like to let me know in the comments i am very curious as to why this is happening all right this is what the shoes look like now they're still drying a little bit also i used like way too much on the inside of the left foot or the left foot heel so like that might just stay white. I don't know if it's going to dry. But as you can see, it's kind of orangey, like this highlighter pink with orange. And I'm almost wondering if maybe when I was putting on the Mod Podge, if the orange and yellow colors in the brown paint started leaking onto the brush and then spread onto the heel. I don't know. Some of it is drying back to the original color. I have no idea what's happening, but oh well. Here's my whole little setup. I'm gonna fill this piping bag. Um, I'm probably going to mix the white spackle in with this white paint in the cup though, just to make it a little liquidier and to make it a little bit more of a bright white, although it is pretty white. And yeah, I'm just gonna use this cute little plastic cup. I don't know where it came, oh, it's Starbucks. I've never drank coffee before, so I don't know where that came from. Probably from my little sister. Anyway, let's get our piping bag ready. Of thinking I actually didn't need any paint at all but we're just adding it in anyway I don't think it's gonna help with the color because it's already pretty bright white but like I said it might kind of thin it out and make it easier to pipe
I've got my little piping bag. I'm just gonna pipe a little bit out, make sure it's working. Oh, beautiful. I really like the dab patch and paint and the dab fast and final. Um, those two seem to work the best for me. I think they might be the same thing because when you read the ingredients and all the different things that I just covered up, like the 30 minutes ready to paint and the no scrubbing or no sanding and all that, um, they say the exact same thing. So I don't know if there's actually a difference between the patch and paint and the fast and final, but I don't really like the Dollar Tree stuff. It does not pipe well. It's a lot thicker. And if you try and water it down by adding paint or actual just tap water, it just kind of starts to squeeze out water and then the piping tip just gets jammed so i really really like the dab brand i 10 out of 10 recommend the other stuff is really good for like ice cream scoops i would think i just haven't tried that yet Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, I gotta flip my camera so I can film the other shoe for TikTok. Oh, I love it. It looks adorable. So now we're just going to add our little cherries on top. Oh, that's so cute. So I know this is a really terrible way to end this video um, without me even doing like a grand reveal and showing you what they look like on or sewing an outfit to go with them. I have never made a YouTube video without some kind of sewing or costume. At least I don't think I have. But I am really low on storage space and my phone desperately needs an update. It's been glitching a whole bunch. It's not recording. The screenshots aren't being saved. Uh, it's just been glitching. I can't listen to my audiobooks all of the time. So like I said, it really desperately needs that update, but I'm low on storage. So I need to post this video so that I can delete it. Um, yeah, so this is this. Sorry to end it on such a weird note, but life happens. And um, I will do a grand reveal in my next YouTube video or the next. So there will be a grand reveal eventually. And I will have TikTok grand reveals of the shoes also.